card. So my pleasure to introduce, bring up John Jervis, director of the United States. This kind of survey, this kind of the BioBlitz, is a way we find out about how incredibly diverse it is, even though we're right here in the, uh, you know, the middle of a, a huge urban area. Um, we don't understand this environment. Uh, we don't really know what we've got until we invest in it. And, and I know you're going to be announcing here in a few minutes uh, the number of species uh, that have been found. The uh, 8,671 observations from citizen scientists and workers in this event, that's absolutely incredible. 655 plants, which includes a San Francisco wallflower that is one of uh, the plants that are listed on the California list of endangered species. 128 insects, um, you know, that includes the green hair streak, which is a species that's kind of hanging on in this urban area, so it's great to see those and the other 127 that we've so far identified. 11 species of arachnids, uh, which includes the western forest scorpion that was found for the first time in Beer Woods. 17 fish, that includes the, uh, you've got a picture there of the goby, uh, the water goby in, that they found in Rodeo Lagoon. 17 fish, yeah. Nine species of amphibians, uh, one of which was an arboreal salamander that we had never seen before in Muir Woods. What's wild about that arboreal salamander, I guess it was up several hundred feet in the redwoods. So, oh, cool. reptiles, we've got 10 that we found, including this, uh, the San Francisco garter snake, which is really a flagship species here in the endangered marshes of San Francisco Bay. Hundred and fifty species of birds, which includes two sightings of bald eagles on the Marin Headlands in the Presidio. So that's pretty cool. Always, it's always nice to have a bald eagle fly over. The uh, mammals, 39 species of mammals. We've got a, a mountain lion photograph that was taken with camera trap uh, technology south in uh, Rancho. Sixty species of mollusks. Uh, and this is a, a picture of an opalescent nudibranch, yeah. which is the Serengeti lions of our of our tide pools. So that nudibranch actually eats other nudibranchs. And then we have a selection of other animals that the ones that are in categories like sea stars, sea squirts. Um, you know, uh, tunicates. How many people know what a tunicate is? Sea squirts. They're actually the ancestors of us who have backbones. So these sea squirts are really cool biologically. Well, we happen to find 111 species of fungi. So the next is the big one. Uh, for the first time, really, in BioBlitz history, we've gone deep into the microbes and to other kingdoms besides the ones we've mentioned. So you notice 33 seaweeds, two protists, 68 archaea, and then the big one, 916 bacteria, to a total of 1,019 species added to this list. So the, um, the cool thing about all these is that it includes threatened species, more than 15 threatened species that we found alive and well, including the Mission Blue, one of these uh, wonderful and important butterflies everybody's been hearing about in this area. 
So we want to watch these species, of course, make sure they're thriving, that they don't blink out, and it's great to see 15 of them in this park. And then for those of you who were at the opening ceremony, you may recall that I said we were going to find new species to the park. Well, we did. We found over 80 new species that have never been documented in the park. So the grand total for the number of species that we found in this bioblitz was 2,304. Easily surpassing our last count, which is around 1,500 to 2015. And that park yeah. is west of here, and it's Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is Cindy Orlando, she's the superintendent of Hawaii Volcanoes. Aloha! And I may be very chilly, but we're not intimidated by the numbers at all. All right, that wraps it up for the 2014 National Park Service National Geographic Bio Blitz here at Golden Gate National Parks. And it was record setting in many ways, the most participants, the most scientists, most species found, and uh, for the first time, uh, thousands of bacteria and other microscopic creatures which were added to the inventory. So uh, really cool this year, and uh, next time it's going to be at Hawaii Volcano, Hawaii Volcano National Park in uh, on the Big Island of Hawaii. So uh, until then, I'm Bob Hershon from the American Association for the Advancement of Science, wrapping it up for the 2014 BioBlitz. <laughs>